Hello guys, my name is Bonnie and Clyde and I regularly produce Joomla tutorials for beginners in the German language but last week a YouTube user asked me if it is possible for me to produce my videos also in the English language. So I will try it. Today I will show you how to install Joomla 3 on your local PC. For this project we need to download two files. The first file is XM. Uh, the download link I will post in the description for my video. Visit the site, choose your operating system, Linux, Windows, Mac OS, Solaris. I use a Windows PC so I have to download XM for Windows and scroll down to the installer and download it. After that install XM on your, com on your computer and the local hard drive C is the best place in the root. It looks like this. Then you have to open this and there you will find a folder with the name htdocs. Open this folder again and here we can create a new folder that will be our new server. For this example I named this server test server. That was the first step. Now we have to download the newest Joomla 3 version. For this we have to visit the joomla.org website. Here you can press the download button. On the next page you will find the download for the newest version 3.1.5 full package zip. You download this to your PC. I have already done it. Here is the package. We have to open this package and extract the files from this package into our new server named in this example test server. So I open the test server and extract the Joomla files into this folder. This takes a few seconds. While this is extracting we open XAMPP and start the Apache server and start the MySQL databases. Now we have to create a new database for a new Joomla installation. For this we have to press the admin button and we have to press the databases button. Here we can uh, choose a new name for our database and I call it here testdb and say create. Now can we check the privileges from this database and we will see the username from this database is root. This information we need when we install Joomla on our local PC. To start the Joomla installation we open a new tab and type in the, into the address bar localhost slash test server. Why test server? That's easy. We created a new folder with the name test server and that is our server. So we have to enter here the name of the folder. In my example here it is test server. So I have to type localhost slash test server. Press the enter button and we have to choose here the language. For this tutorial I choose the English language. So now we can start to install Joomla on the local PC. As first we have to choose a site name Joomla three test site. Here you can enter a description. You can enter the description now or later. Here you get asked for an admin email address, an admin username. Don't use here a username like admin or administrator. That is not safety. Choose an safety admin password and down below we get asked if our site should be offline after the installation. No or yes. And I don't like that the front front page should be offline, so I say site offline, no. Then we press the next button. Here we have to enter the database configuration. As first we have to choose the database type, that is MySQL. The local host name is uh, the host name is localhost. The username is root. This database have no password, so we enter uh, we have to enter here nothing. The database name is testdb. We don't touch the table prefix and here we have we choose remove because it's a new installation of Joomla. We ha don't have to back up the database. When we click the next button the Joomla installation will check the connection to the database if everything is right. And here is the last step for the installation. If we want we can here e install example data. I always choose known because for new Joomla users it might be confused if there is anything installed on the new Joomla installation. 
Here in the overview we can choose if the Joomla configuration will be sent to our email, no or yes. And if you say yes, you can also choose if the password should include it in the email. Yes is a bad choice because to send passwords via email to your email account is not safety. For this installation I say no to the email configuration. Then we will find the main configuration. We can check here everything if everything is correct. Also the database configuration on the right side and down below we will find the pre-installation check. Here is everything green, everything is correct and on the right side we see the recommended settings. Here we have two yellow buttons. The first yellow button is that we display arrows is on and the output buffering is also on but that is not so bad. We press the install button and this takes also few seconds and after that we have to delete the installation folder. Here is a button we have to remove the installation folder with this button and if this button does not work there is a second chance to delete this installation folder. You open your test server folder and delete the installation folder by clicking the delete button. I try to use now the orange button and it works. Here we have two other buttons. The first button shows us the front end from our side. I will open it now and our front page looks like this at the moment and the second button shows us the back end, the administration panel. Here we have to log in with our username and our password and after the login we will see the control panel here and here on this panel we start to build our first home page. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video I will show you how to install a template on your Joomla installation. I hope we will see us soon and I wish you a great day. Bye.